In this episode, we will talk about false statements about the speed of light, which you might have heard. Let's enjoy it. In relativity, the speed of light is considered as a local invariant. It doesn't change no matter how do we move with respect to it. In relativity, nothing can travel faster than light. This indeed defines the concept of causality. Here we are about to mention false statements about the speed of light, which we should correct. The first false statement is to suggest that the light travels slower when it enters inside some materials. Although it is true that when the light enters inside some material, it looks like it is traveling slower, what in reality is happening is that the atoms are absorbing and re-emitting the light multiple times. This then generates a global effect of delay. The second false statement about the speed of light is to suggest that the universe expands faster than light. As a consequence, this automatically suggests that some galaxies move with respect to us at a speed larger than the speed of light. First of all, it is completely incorrect to establish relative velocities between distant objects in general relativity without the corresponding parallel transform. Then, if we want to compare the speed between two distant objects, first we have to map the velocities toward a common point. This process then considers the local effects of the space-time curvature. Additionally, when we say that the universe is expanding, we are talking in reality about the expansion of the manifold itself. Then the speed of light is defined with respect to these manifolds. Then the correct statement about the expansion of the universe with the corresponding motion of the galaxies is to say that some distant galaxies disconnect causally from each other when the universe expands. Finally, the third false statement about the speed of light is to suggest that in quantum mechanics, some particles can travel faster than the speed of light. First of all, in quantum mechanics, we define two different types of velocities for a particle. One of them corresponds to the phase velocity, while the other corresponds to the group velocity. But what is the phase velocity? If we remember the de Broglie wavelength expression, which is a natural consequence of the wave particle duality, then we have to assign a wavelength for each momentum associated to a particle. Due to the uncertainty principle, if we know the momentum of a particle, then this particle has associated with it a single wavelength. Additionally, we would have zero knowledge about its location. On the other hand, if we want to locate a particle, then we need a superposition of wavelengths in order to achieve it. Then, in general, when a particle moves through the space-time, it has associated to it certain number of wavelengths. Then the phase velocity is the velocity associated to a single wavelength. If a particle has several wavelengths associated to its motion, then it will have equivalently several phase velocities. Some of them will be smaller than the speed of light, and some of them might be larger than the speed of light. However, the phase velocity doesn't describe the physical velocity of a particle unless we know exactly its momentum. The group velocity, on the other hand, corresponds to the velocity associated to the envelope shape of the wave packet. It corresponds to the resulting velocity after doing the superposition of all the frequencies associated to the motion of a particle. Normally, in most of the cases, the group velocity represents the propagation of information. This means that it is normally taken as the physical velocity of the particles and then it is normally inferior to the speed of light. 
There are, however, cases where even the magnitude of the group velocity can be larger than the speed of light. In such a case, it is still true that the quantum signals travel at speeds inferior to the speed of light. These situations might occur due to wrong approximations or just due to the inaccuracy of our approaches after neglecting certain frequency modes in the expansion of the wave packet. In such situations, the physicists focus on the motion of the front of the wave packet. We will explain more details about this interesting phenomena in future episodes. In summary, no signal can travel faster than the speed of light. The effective slow motion of light inside materials is a natural consequence of multiple absorptions and emission processes occurring within the atoms of the materials. At the quantum level, these signals still propagate at magnitudes of velocities inferior to the speed of light. Finally, the universe is not expanding faster than light. In fact, the speed of light is defined over the manifold under expansion. Then it is better to say that the universe expansion disconnects causally some galaxies during the process. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.